What's up everybody, Matthew Monas here, and today I'm gonna to be reviewing the HP Omen 15 inch gaming laptop. Now it looks the same as last year's 2016 Skylake version, but this time it comes packed with the latest KB Lake processor and your choice of a GTX 1050 or 1050 Ti. It starts at $900 US and is perfect for someone who wants a fairly light and portable laptop that can game on the go. So, is this the best budget gaming laptop? Let's find out. The Omen is made out of all plastic, but the top has this faux carbon fiber feel to it. It's not as nice as the carbon fiber on the XPS 15, but it gives it a more premium feel than just hard plastic. The entire laptop is black except for the red logo on the front. It doesn't light up, but it's reflective, so it adds some contrast. It's not a heavy laptop, but it's no ultrabook either. It weighs 5.2 pounds, so manageable on the go and slightly thinner and lighter than the Dell Inspiron 7567. Opening up is straightforward. Just remove the 10 screws and use a credit card or plastic wedge and work your way around the outside. Inside to the top right, you have a removable one terabyte 7200 RPM hard drive. It averaged read speeds of 123 megabytes a second and write speeds of 115. So very typical for this type of drive. The other drive is also replaceable and is an NVMe PCIe drive. It's a really good one too. It's the Samsung 960 Evo. So I was getting insane read speeds of 3200 megabytes a second and write speeds of 1500. Both the Wi-Fi module and RAM can be swapped out and the Omen is capable of holding up to 32 gigabytes of RAM. Now in terms of ports, on the left there's a Noble Lock, two USB 3.0 ports and a combo audio jack. On the right there's a power connector, a full size HDMI slot, one more USB 3.0 port and an SD card slot that I accidentally broke opening up the laptop. I know, I know, I suck at life. But there's no USB Type-C port, which is a shame. However, the same holds true for the Inspiron 7567. Now, the base model will net you an i7 7700K, a full HD display, one terabyte hard drive, eight gigabytes of RAM, and a GTX 1050 GPU, all for 900 bucks. But the review unit I have here has the faster GTX 1050 Ti, an additional storage drive, and a 4K display. Now, I don't have the exact pricing for this model because it's not on HP's website. It only gives you the option to configure it with one drive, but based on comparable models, this one should cost around $1,200 to $1,300 US. The 15.6 inch IPS 60 Hz UHD non-touch matte display has pretty big bezels. The text is super sharp, the contrast is nice and it gets fairly bright. The viewing angles are good with only minor color shifting and the matte finish helps with glare. sRGB sits at 98% and Adobe RGB at 75%. So not the best for photo or video creators, but looks fantastic for gaming. Now my suggestion is to avoid the 4K model and stick with the 1080p one. Above the display is an HD webcam and it looks like this. It flattens my skin tones, but there's quite a bit of noise. The keyboard is full size, so you have a numeric keypad if needed on the right. The layout itself is pretty solid except for the up and down arrow keys. I sometimes found myself hitting the shift key quite a bit. Travel distance is only 1.2 millimeters. I usually prefer at least two for a gaming laptop, but surprisingly, HP did a good job of making them feel springy. Now, as for the backlighting, there's only one level and you're stuck with the color red, but it goes nicely with the whole theme of the laptop. So the touchpad below is quite big with lots of space to move your fingers with a good solid click to it. It's not glass, but plastic, so it's not the most accurate or smooth one to use, but it handled gestures, pinch to zoom, and scrolling just fine. Now sound is one area I was not impressed at all. I find with certain HP models sound is great and others it's just bad. This one falls into the ladder, it gets fairly loud, but highs are way too loud that they completely drown out the mids. There's no bass and when listening at max volume, the sound is distorted. Now it is quite possible to have a bad unit because it was making a rattling noise at max volume. When it comes to performance, the Omen can handle productivity tasks such as Excel, multiple browser tabs, and watching 4K videos. But it's also powerful enough to work in Photoshop and edit 4K video. In fact, I actually edited this entire video using this laptop. As for gaming, it can handle the majority of titles at 1080p just fine, but it will struggle at 2560 by 1440 
or 4K. The only recent title that ran well at 4K was Overwatch, and that's because it's optimized. I was averaging a comfortable 60 frames per second. However, when I dropped it to 1080p, it doubled to 120. Diablo ran at 60 frames per second at 1080p and settings set to high. Resident Evil 7 performed really well and got frame rates over 120. Finally, the last game I tried was Battlefield 1 multiplayer and I was able to hit 65 frames per second consistently during scenes of fighting. So the 1050 Ti is obviously not as powerful as the GTX 1060, but it does provide slightly better performance than the 1050. Now, if you can muster up the extra money to buy it, I definitely recommend you should. Under a full torture test, the Omen did extremely well managing heat. The back of the laptop got really hot, hitting temps of 50 degrees Celsius or 120 degrees Fahrenheit. But this was the vents that only got that hot. The area where the CPU was located stayed relatively cool at 38 degrees Celsius or 100 degrees Fahrenheit, which is much better than some of the other gaming laptops I've tested recently. Also, there was no thermal throttling under full load. The battery inside is 63 watt hours. It's not too big, but I was able to get around six hours of use before needing a charge. This consisted of browsing the web and watching movies. Don't expect to get more than three hours of use if you plan on gaming with it. All right, so here's my closing thoughts. The HP Omen 15 is a solid gaming laptop that has a decent design, good display, room for upgrading, and handles heat extremely well. The only areas it truly fell short was with audio and a mediocre touchpad. Now, I've never used the Dell Inspiron 7567, so I can't say if it's a better buy, but based on my experience with the Omen 15, it does a good job of providing great value at its price point. It's light enough to carry around, the 1050 Ti is powerful enough to play games comfortably at 1080p, and you can edit 4K video. So if you're on a budget and love to game, I highly recommend you check this one out. So that wraps up my review of the HP Omen 15 inch gaming laptop. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna try and get a Dell Inspiron 7567 in the studio so I can do a head to head comparison. Thanks again for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, feel free to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And as always, I will see you in the next video.